So when I was a brand new developer, I used to look at these senior developers and think to myself, how the hell do these guys know eight or nine languages? I'm out here struggling with just one. However, after gaining some experience in the programming space and learning many languages, I kind of realized that if you just learn code the right way and implement a couple of things, you can easily learn any framework or any programming language that you want. And so what I like to do in this video is just show you how I've used these tactics to learn JavaScript, Python, a little bit of C. I've also used it to learn React, Next.js, and I know TypeScript's not a language, but you know, it's built on JavaScript, but it's like it still requires learning. And I'm currently using this and I'm kind of making this video because I'm highly interested in learning Svelte and PHP. And so the layout of this video will kind of just be like this. Firstly, I'm going to change your belief system and change your world on learning languages. Like you're literally going to have a different perspective on it. And then we'll go into the tactics and the things I do for learning new languages. So we'll just walk through how I will be learning Svelte and PHP. And with that being said, if you like the video, then like and subscribe. It would really go a long way. And let's get started. And so here is the main belief change that you will have, okay? As a kid, right, this is little Nazar. All right, this is me, guys, okay? And I have, like, my little hair. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> anyways, as a kid, um, I, I grew up in the Middle East, and I had to learn English, okay? We spoke only Arabic in the house, a little bit of English, but most of, my, most of the time, I just spoke Arabic. And so the main issue that I had with learning English was that it was very hard. Because I only knew one language and I only knew how to like speak it and write a little bit, learning a second language was very difficult. Obviously, I ended up learning English and I think, you know, it's, I don't know, I don't want to get too cocky, but you can't tell this is my second language, right? I, I don't know. But for the most part, I speak English pretty well. I can hold a conversation and I, I write it in English and I speak in English. But where the story gets really interesting is that I moved to Canada in like 2011 and here we have to learn French. But I went into French expecting it to go like really difficult and expecting myself to fail. But I had such an easy time learning French that I was like a little bit surprised. It was easy for me to learn French and I had a much easier time learning it than English. Not because French is easier than English or easier than Arabic, but because I learned two languages already, learning that third language was just instantly easier. Here's the belief point, okay? It was easy. It was easy because... All languages are inherently the same. But once you understand how language works, then learning another language would be much, be much easier because you understand the basics of a language. Like you understand past tense, present tense, uh, you understand uh, self, you understand what we is, you understand what you is, like you understand the core basics of any language. And how this relates to coding is this, okay? Let's say you're over here and you don't know any language. And let's say you want to learn JavaScript. It's going to be really freaking hard because you've never written a single line of code you don't know the language it's so new it's 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 a new thing to you the concept is new you don't know what programming is but once you understand javascript and the core syntax which we'll get into the syntax of javascript then when it's time maybe to learn c or typescript or svelte whatever whatever language it may be then it's going to be a lot easier because you hopefully did the right thing and you understood the core syntax of how a programming language works and you use JavaScript as this intermediary to learn that syntax. But if you're a brand new developer, here's what you need to do. So instead of thinking that you have many languages to learn, expect to learn one and get really good at it and that the rest will be easy as a result of learning that one. And so as soon as you are able to learn JavaScript and you understand the syntax of learning JavaScript, then everything will be easier. And you may be saying right now, Nizar, You've talked a lot about freaking languages, coding languages. How do I understand the syntax so that everything will be easy? But what you want to do, okay, is look at this when you're learning it or when you're trying to implement it and think to yourself, not only how to write this in JavaScript, but why we are using this, how we are using this and how it works. In all languages, like we said earlier, everything or for the most part is very similar. In Python, you're going to use for loops and C. I don't know actually if you're going to use for loops, but I guess in many languages, you're going to be using for loops as like a concept and understanding that it's all the same. And we're just using JavaScript as a way to express this. Like in English, we're going to say hi. In Spanish, we're going to say hola. We're saying the same word, but in different ways. The same thing goes here. So for you, right, go through this, whatever you think you're trying to learn and understand why we are using this. And basically the basic concept of this syntax is that we're looping through an item 
and we're displaying it in X amount of times. And once you understand that and how it works, you can then use this because you've already learned it and you can just express this in another way, aka through another language. But basically when it comes to learning a new language, let's say it's spelt, I'm actually gonna just do something like this. And let's say little Nazar over here wants to learn spelt. What I'll usually do first is go onto YouTube and just research on the language. And usually here, I, I don't know if I'll work on a project, probably not. But for the most part here, I'll just, the main goal is just to understand what the language is, uh, why we use it, why we do the things we do, and just generally how it works. And so for you, Google's your friend, go onto Google, go onto YouTube, then they, they run everything. But go onto these platforms and just research the language or framework and look into it. So for me, I'd probably just go onto Svelte tutorial, watch like maybe Svelte in 100 seconds, Svelte in 100 seconds again. Um, maybe look at something like Svelte versus React, Svelte crash course, which is probably great. And then even better is just go to Svelte how it works. I don't know if that's even a thing. And just learn Svelte. Like here, there's like a, this is literally from the Svelte uh, team. And you could just walk through how this may work. And this is very valuable because you're learning more about the language. And because, right, because we understand, understood how a language worked initially, right? This is just a lot easier to do. And by the way, this only applies to people learning a second, third, fourth, or fifth language. If you're learning your first language, go through it like you're like a beginner. Go through a full course, spend a few months on it. But for the people that want to learn multiple languages, like if you're on your second or third languages, I think this one is the perfect thing to do. And usually what I'll do after researching something, maybe after like watching like a three or four four hours of work and videos, um, I will build something with someone. So why I'm saying this is that if we go to YouTube again, right? What I'm just trying to say is that there's a lot of tutorials on the topic of Svelte and I'll be using this to hopefully, I don't, I'm still on the fence about it, I probably will, is just build something with it. And obviously my expectation here is not to fully learn it, but rather to understand how to implement it into the real world. And I guess you know where I'm going with this, but the final aspect of what I do to learn the language is to build something by myself. And here's usually the hardest part because you're kind of thrown into the fire. But as I've learned, you know, TypeScript, Next.js, React, and JavaScript, like, three, like these four in a row, um, it definitely gets easier. And for this, I would usually just you know, again, go to VS Code and build something on my own. And again, this is pretty difficult, but I've generally used this to build out both this platform. And if I run this one, um, you can see the Nizi starter kit. These are all as a result, because I didn't go to university, are all as a result of just building projects on my own and just getting a lot better at it. And I actually implemented authentication recently, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. But yeah, these are the three things that I do and hopefully you got value out of this video. And if you did, then please like and subscribe. It would really go a long way. And if you want to join a Discord server with over a thousand developers, then I'll leave that down below. It's literally, I always repeat this, but it's top notch group. It's one of my favorite things about content creation. We have a group of people, we can talk, we can share projects, we can help each other out. It's, it's literally awesome. But yeah, if you like the video, then you'll love this video on the screen. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.